Yeah, I am opening uh, a M29 3-inch Smith and Smith and Wesson revolver, air revolver. So I just got it as a gift. And, uh, so I have the comfortable freedom to experiment with it. And I am doing this for a reason. After uh, uh, using two cylinders, uh, the third cylinder I kept it and uh, uh, I thought I will use it whenever it is required. And uh, whenever it is required I used it. And then the fourth cylinder was uh, entered. Then suddenly there was a whole lot of leak from various parts of the, this portion. So, when I called the uh, seller and he said there is no way, you have to send the machine to Delhi, uh, I mean the revolver to Delhi and uh, uh, it is not uh, advisable to keep a cylinder like that. That they should have particularly told at the time of uh, uh, selling this gun. Yeah, this is the inside. Yeah. All right. This is already done. See? This has come out automatically. All right. So this is the insert, this is the trigger, and all these things. So just I am showing the insert for someone else to see. So you take a picture of this before you open it and carefully fix it back. The problem is there are a lot of springs. So it will all jump off automatically. That is the only issue. This is the place where the cylinder is fixed in, okay? And this is the place where when this portion is pressed by the trigger, gas is released from here. So, when you keep a cylinder, a CO2 cylinder here, without using it properly, I mean, uh, the gas, CO2 gas comes up till this place. That's why it gets damaged. That the selling people should explain properly. That they did not explain, or the guy who gifted this to me did not tell me properly. So this is to be fixed like that. So before that, uh, there is something else. That is the, yeah. Yeah, this is the one. Right? And then, what? Then the engine, the main engine, of course. And the main engine. And put the shaft, center shaft, upon which this is fixed. Okay. And then the to strike a hammer. system over here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. And then the trigger, this are all uh, removed and refixed. It's so very tricky. Just remove it and don't uh, fool around with it. Very difficult. Okay, that's all. Then you fix it here. And then there is the lock for the cylinder. 
verse start for this it is over pocket I put this to the right doesn't go and uh, oh. like this so that's all that's all and then you put this side core yeah. Yeah. and press in the so, this is so if someone wants to uh, repair uh, Smith & Wesson air revolver they can contact me and I do this video uh, because we search the entire internet or YouTube there is not a single uh, presentation where uh, Smith & Wesson air revolver is disassembled and uh, <coughs> reassembled. Therefore, I do it and put it in the video. Thanks a lot for watching.